I have got something really, really special for you guys today. I was up at Sunseeker doing a bit of filming and they've got the very first brand new Sunseeker 88 yacht here. This is spectacular. And they allowed me to look over and I said, do you mind if I do a film of it? And they said, well, it's not 100%, it's still being snagged, but if you want to walk around it with the camera, you can do. And I couldn't wait to get on board and show you this one because this is genuinely spectacular. It's a full on super yacht, as you can see and they've done an absolutely incredible job with this. But as I say, it's still at the factory, it's still being pre-delivery inspected. There might be one or two things that are not 100%, but we can't resist an opportunity like this. We've got to get on this boat. So here it is. Let's go and do the full tour. We're going to everywhere, the crew cabins, the engine rooms, the decks, the whole lot. We're starting off on this bathing platform. This is very impressive. It's a high-low platform as you'd expect, but what you've got here is storage for all your swimming gear, um, towels, uh, in fact there's even a, a locker for sea bobs underneath, but what they've done is with this door is they've created this as you can see so that when a door is raised you have a sunbathing area right on the back like this. You can see how this opens to allow access to it. When this drops down then you close these over, this comes down and this becomes then like a sunbed on the back of the boat, a really great place to relax and look out over the water. That's fantastic. And the detailing on here, the way they've done these wood cappings, the way they've done this door, everything, they've really raised the game with this. You've got freestanding furniture up in here. It's just incredible. And I think one of the most incredible bits of it is when we go inside. I'm gonna do that first of all, and then we'll do the decks afterwards because this, this is special. Look at that. This has got the new smoked eucalyptus wood. It looks fantastic. It's a satin finish and it just works beautifully. A lot of new detailing as well, like the lights in the ceiling, the way they've done that is fabulous. And features like this lighting on the back here. It's proper super yacht, it really is. It's just amazing. TV here, of course. You've got all your lighting controls, air conditioning controls, all that kind of stuff is dotted around the boat so you can see you can get into the systems here and change lighting and all that kind of stuff let's head on through a bit further so this of course is the saloon area i like little details like this where you've got storage hidden away underneath that's all very nice and as we head on forward this then is the dining area what you've got here is floor to ceiling windows on this side and then on the other side of the boat this one open so you can have plenty of fresh air through here if you want to but you also get a fantastic view out of the other side and in fact if you look you'll see they've cut away the bulwark so you can see actually even when you sat down out through to the water that's really nice down here the sunseeker crockery and again some of the finishes that they've put into this it's just all so very very nice draw here and then underneath that is the bar area for your glasses and your bottles and so forth stunning let's head on forward a little bit further love this lighting that you've put in here that looks really nice then over here again there's a bit of a bar area so more glasses are kept tucked away in there And then we head forward again. This is the stairwell down to the lower deck. We're going to head forward first of all. So over here is the day heads. So that's up here on the main deck. Again, proper super yacht feature. And here it's quite clever because what they've done is put a pocket door here so you can close this off. And you can have this if you want completely as a crew domain. So the helm is over on this side. There's a door straight out onto the side deck over there. And then up here, 24 inch screens for your navigation. And as you can see, these beautiful Sunseeker seats are here. And then across here, you've got things like the air conditioning controls, VHF radio, thrusters, engine controls. This is the control systems for the boat, so we can go into all the different areas on here. So bilges, for example, pumps, tankage is on here. Uh, power is on here so everything you need to get into you can access from there and as you come across the galley is up here as well really good size look at that I mean that is proper home from home stuff isn't it 
there's a little breakfast bar type of thing here which is nice tv in here and as we go on round you've got big fridges over on this side like so a doorway here straight out onto the side deck so the crew can come and go as they please but also there's a sliding pocket door here which allows the crew to cater straight through into the dining area let's head on back so of course this is all cooking around here so you've got your oven you've got your hob you've got your microwave there dishwasher over here it's everything you'd expect obviously it's a fully equipped galley wine cooler for example is down there and you get a sense of the size of this boat as well when you stand back here and look at it i mean it's proper little ship stuff proper super yacht just superb let's carry on around a little bit further and what we'll do now is head on down to the lower deck but i will just point out these linings the way they've done these just is all at another level it looks fantastic i love these lights that they fitted just beautiful absolutely beautiful let's head on down so as you come on down here we will head forward first of all to the vip cabin but in all honesty this could be a master cabin in fact with something else it is and i'll explain that when we get a bit further back down the boat but look at this Ah, oh, it's just fantastic absolutely fantastic carry on round and this takes us on and in and there we go again these beautiful linings the way they've lit everything is stunning big windows in the hull huge tv system in here as well love the way they finished all this across here so much detail has gone into this boat all of this kind of thing it just looks absolutely magnificent Dressing area is over on this side. And what you have then behind that is this sort of dressing area here. So you've got drawers and storage, and then this is a wardrobe. As I say, we are very much in the factory at the minute. This is not in boat show condition. And that's why there's bits and pieces obviously still in here. But as I say, I wasn't gonna pass up this opportunity. What you also have here is then is the ensuite because the cabin actually starts back at that threshold down there so this is all part of this cabin so you've got your twin sinks you've got your big rainfall shower and your loo in behind there and look at where they finished these doors the way they've done this wood like this and the stainless steel beautiful absolutely beautiful And that, as I say, is the VIP cabin on this boat. If we head back a bit further, we'll find two more guest cabins. Of course, these are all en suite. So if we go into here, there we go, you've got two singles there. You can, in fact, motor these together. There's a track on the floor, so you can bring them and create a double if you want to. Again, this beautiful linings that they put into here. Big windows. The circular section is an opening section, so you can get plenty of ventilation in here if you want, although of course it is all air conditioned. In fact, you can see the controller for that down here. And these are quite sophisticated controllers. You can do timing with these so you can set the air conditioning to come on at certain times and so forth. TV in here again, big wardrobes, all the kinds of things you would expect. And then the ensuite to this cabin, well, that is in through here. Again, great size. Again, the big separate shower area with a rainfall shower. That is a lovely cabin. And there are two of these. There's another one on the other side. I'm going to show it to you, but we do have a slight problem with this one with the power supply, which means that the lights aren't on in here. As I say, this boat is still being prepared. It's not quite ready to leave the factory yet, so that's why we have no lights on in here. But it is essentially exactly the same as the one we just saw. So wardrobe over here and then an ensuite in through here. But we won't dwell too much in there for obvious reasons we'll come back a bit further and i'll show you the master cabin because if you thought that vip was special and you would be right it was check this out that is incredible isn't it absolutely stunning let's come right the way around this of course is all storage i won't open it all but you get the idea I like these little catches they put on here. They're just really easy to use. So when it's shut, that locks it in. 
the bedside units and again some really neat lighting like these and these lights here it's all very very lovely you've got dressing table over on that side and then if we go right round we will find the ensuite and that is back here so again wonderful sort of dressing area here you've got big wardrobe in here lots of storage all around the place and then back here big ensuite across the back and what's quite clever is they've done it like this because the engines are back behind here so you've got like a double bulkhead then between the engines and this cabin And as you'd expect, this is absolutely massive. It's almost the full beam of the boat. Rainfall shower again down at this end. Stunning. Now I mentioned that that forward cabin could be the master cabin. And the reason that I say that is because there is a layout option where you can have this basically split in half and have two double cabins back here. They'd both be a really great size. And then you would have four guest cabins and that forward cabin would be the master cabin. And it would be a perfectly sufficient master cabin for a boat like this. I mean, it's just fantastic. But of course, if you opt for the four cabin version, which this is, then you get this, which is even bigger. I mean, it's just dramatic, isn't it? What a boat. What an amazing boat. Lots more to see. Let's press on. So back through here, these are these steps back up to the main deck. And this, as you come up here, the detail, the quality, but most of all, the sheer space, all on one level, all the way through, is just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. They've done such a great job with this boat. Can I call it a boat? Super yacht. Such a great job with this super yacht. That's exactly what it is, isn't it? Let's press on a bit further. So we will take a walk around the decks first of all. Around here you've got things like all the controls mirrored in here for the thrusters and the engines for stern to berthing and then these really deeply bulwarked decks i mean again it's proper super yacht stuff the way that this comes up here you've got the overhang here feels very very special when you walk around this boat look at the way they've done these rails really thick hooped rails down the side it feels like you're walking around a ship and that is exactly the impression you should get on a boat of this caliber that's the door out of that galley area might be picking up a little bit of wind noise now. I apologise for that if you are, but it won't be for long. And then up here on the bow, you've got a great seating area around this table. Great place to come and tuck yourself away. And then some beds on the front. Now these will fold flat. You can see the mechanism for them here. Or lift up a bit further as that one is. So when you're underway and somebody's driving from the main helm position, then of course you've got a clear sight out across the front of the boat as you'd expect. That's a searchlight up on the front and you've got twin anchors, twin anchor winches. It's all proper stuff, isn't it? That's a big boat, isn't that a big boat? Let's press on a bit further. So we'll come back down this side. Lots of practical details on here as well. Like for example, this is storage areas for fenders and ropes and any other deck gear you want to keep up here. You've got these carbon fiber cup holders all so very lovely let's press on down lots of ground still to cover this is the door from the helm position so you can see that's just in there so that's direct access out onto the deck for the crew and then back down here that's that sliding door next to the uh, dining area and these are engine vents down here we'll come on back a bit further underneath this one there's just a little sink so if you want to wash your hands out here or do anything like that, you've got it. And then we'll carry on across and we'll head up onto the flybridge. These are all pin lights, so it looks absolutely stunning at night. And in fact, you can see how the lighting is all the way around here. It looks like it's flickering, but it's not. You can see there, it's still now. Um, so that's all low level lighting around here. There's a big bar area here, like a wet bar. What's interesting about this is you've got fridges, as you'd expect. But these are actually water-cooled fridges, so the actual cooling mechanism is down below, so you don't have trouble with them overheating in very hot countries. It means that these stay nice and cool, but the actual chillers 
are not here, they're separate, and then they send cold water up to keep the fridges cold. Then up here you've got ice maker, and underneath there then is the barbecue. And that caters for this magnificent flybridge. What a great size this is. We'll start right at the back, I think. You've got sunbathing here. Now, there are various things that you can do back here. You can have a crane here, so you could lift up a tender or a jet ski if you wanted to. You can also put a hot tub up here if you want to. So if you want that on your boat, you can do, or you can have this as it is at the moment for just freestanding furniture. I do like the way that they've done things like this, all glass across the back, so you have a pretty uninterrupted view out across the back of the boat, rather than looking at stainless steel. And look at the woodwork on here. And how well you can see that just all feels so nice big chunky solid very nice indeed there's an awning that comes out so you can have extra shade here if you want to and then up on top of course you've got your radar and all your navigation lights antenna all that kind of stuff up on the top and this is the hard top over this area so it shades this bar area it shades this dining area just here but that all opens that whole section there will roll back and if you prefer you can have louvers instead that tilt rather than the canvas that slides so that's more options that you can choose from when you order the boat when it's new there's a great seating area here up alongside the helm and then the helm itself is over here with these lovely bucket seats and then you've got your instrumentation again across so your two screens you've got another controller over here that accesses all the systems on the boat this is quite a nice touch you've got this lift up thing here so if it's a bit breezy you can have a bit of wind deflection or you can just drop that down out of the way which is probably how you'd normally have it but that, again, that's impressive. The whole boat is just sensational, absolutely sensational. But more to see, of course. Let's press on back a bit further. We've got the, uh, the mechanical bits to look at yet. So we're back down these steps. You'll notice there's a hatch in the floor, and I mentioned that because we'll see the other side of that in a moment. This is this very clever system again so as it is now you've got sort of sunbathing on the back of the boat facing into the cockpit very social or as i say you can bring that down and that that part becomes a backrest that part becomes level and you've got sunbathing out across the back of the boat that's a clever thing we'll come right down here there's a seat underneath there as you can see so if you're getting ready for swimming or snorkeling or something you've got somewhere to sit and then the access to the actual crew cabin is here one thing i didn't mention is there's a privacy screen. You can just see it along the top there. It drops down between those two stainless steel poles. So if you're stern two berthed, you can have a nice bit of privacy in the cockpit without people staring in at you. So that's a nice idea. The crew cabin itself then is down here. And I just need two hands to do this. There we go. And this takes us down in. Now we've got something buzzing in here, so please excuse that. As I say, this boat is not boat show ready yet or handover ready it's still very much in the process of being PDI'd however it's not going to stop us having a good look around here so there's a little mess area down here you've got TV in here control systems for the boat is in here as well and also a navigation screen you've got repeater for that so when the crew are in here they can keep an eye on all that kind of stuff if we go over here that's a crew cabin you've got two beds in there as you can see and then if we go right in of course there's a load of storage as you'd expect in places like this and this and there's AV equipment in here as well and then a window out the back of the boat with a blind that drops down over it we come across then onto this side you can see that they've put a little galley area so you've got a microwave you've got the sink here as well and there's a fridge in there and in here then is the heads for this area so separate shower and then the toilet down on that side and if we go on a little bit further, laundry facilities are here. So you've got Miele washing machine and Miele dryer. And then round a little bit further. And another two bed crew cabin. So it should take four crew. And then if we go through here, engines. Now these are a pair of MTU 12V 1950 engines they're big engines and they're giving the boat speeds of up to about 28 knots which is very impressive for a big boat like this but at cruising speeds we drop speed right back you can get the range 
up to about 1300 miles. She'll hold 11,000 litres of fuel. So 1300 miles at a lower cruising speed, 28 knots flat out. Very, very impressive. Generators are in here. There's two, there's one outboard on that side, another one on the other side. This is all battery management systems across here, charging and so forth. Exhaust systems then are up here. And then more of the ship systems across the back, as you can see. And look at the size of these fuel filters. Everything feels a step up. That's the side power thruster system. So the hydraulics to the bow and the stern thruster. You've got fans in here as well. And if we go across onto this side, and again, you can see a lot more of the systems around the place. The other generator is just back there. Fire systems are in here. It's what you'd expect on a boat of this calibre. It's very, very impressive. Hot water cylinder up there. All very well lit, all very well laid out. That's fantastic. And I mentioned that hatch in the deck when we are in the cockpit. That ladder there takes you straight up through, so there's another way out of this area if it was ever needed. Deeply, deeply impressive. Okay, let's come back out. Close that one up. And we'll head back out here. I'll just show you here as we're going past it. That there is the cable management system for the shore power cable, so you can wind that in electrically and it coils up automatically in there so you don't have to manhandle it every time. Let's put that back. Let's come back out of here. That's that cable that you see disappearing around there that plugs you into the shore power. Okay, let's come back up into the cockpit. And I am going to sit over here and say massive, massive thanks to Sunseeker London for organising that tour for me. I really appreciate it. As I say, it's a bit of a preview tour. The boat's not quite boat show or customer ready yet, but it was just too good an opportunity to miss. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. And uh, all a bit overcome by it, really. I just think it's an amazing boat. So pleased to have seen it. Wasn't expecting this one today. Really glad to have brought it to you. We'll catch you on another one of these very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.